Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team. And in this video, I will show you how to get a domain name and web hosting, as well as how to install WordPress from your web hosting dashboard. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist for which you'll find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. Now, before we can build our website, we need a domain name as well as web hosting. Think of a domain name as the address of a building. With that address, we can easily locate and reach that building. So in the same way, with a domain name, users can easily be redirected to a website and access its content. Now, if we go back to our initial analogy, the address gets you to the building, but the building itself is made of stone, wood, and other construction material. The building has several rooms, as well as furniture and decorations on the wall. And in the same way, web hosting provides space for the content of your website, like code, scripts, text, and images that are physically sitting on a computer called a server, which allows the rest of the world to access your content. So I'm going to walk you through how to get your own domain name and web hosting. So personally, I prefer using private mode when I do a purchase. So I open private mode on my browser and now I can go to hostinger.com and click enter. Next, I'm going to click on WordPress and then I'm just going to scroll down and here you see the various plans. Now for the first year, you can get plans as little as $2.49 per month and this comes with a free domain name. Now the business plan is the most popular plan because as you may imagine, it comes with more bells and whistles. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use the cheapest plan. So click on add to cart and next you need to choose a period. Now, if you choose to pay monthly, first of all, it's going to be way more expensive because it's $11.99 and you don't get the free domain. Now, if you choose 12 months, you will pay $2.99 per month and that decreases if you want to stay longer. But I'm going to stick with 12 months. You can always upgrade later. So next, you need to create your account. You can either log in with Google or Facebook or you can create your account with your email address. So I'm going to do that in a moment, but as you can see here below, we have the select payment screen. And here you can select your favorite mode of payment. In my case, I'm going to use credit card and then just fill in the self-explanatory form. And once you're done with it, click on submit secure payment. So now I'm just going to fill in the information and proceed. All right. So let me click on secure payment. And there you go. I'm being redirected to the control panel. And next, click on skip. I don't want personalized experience. Next, click on skip, create an empty website. And here you got three options. You can claim your free domain, which is what we're going to do. You can buy a new domain or you can use an existing domain. In our case, we're going to claim a free domain. Click on select and enter the desired domain name. Now, historically, the .com is considered the best domain, especially for businesses. But if you can find the domain you want with the .com, there are plenty of other extensions. So let me click on search and the domain is available. So click on continue and next select the primary details like the country and whether the website is personal or for a company. So select your preferred option and click on next step. Next. Enter your contact details and once you're done, click on finish registration. So now it's registering your domain. So just sit back and relax. Great. Now you can select your server location. So if you click on the pencil icon, you see this map. And by default right now, we are in North America, in Arizona. But let's say you are in Europe and most of your customers are in Europe. You may want to select a different one like France, United Kingdom. You get the idea. But right now, I'm going to leave it as it is. So click on change and finish setup. And here at the bottom, you see a setup progress bar. Well done. You're ready. And here you can either view your website, but there's nothing in it. Or you can go to the control panel, which is what we're going to do. So click on manage site. And before we do anything, we need to verify our email address. Now, very important, right after your purchase, you will receive this email from Hostinger. If you don't see it, just check your spam folder. So let's open it. And next you want to click on verify email to verify your account. If you open your email from a different browser, you will need to log back in. But if you are in the same browser, you will land here. So our email address is now verified. 
So next you see here premium web hosting. So click on manage. So as you can see, the web hosting is already connected to the domain name that we selected. Next, let's install WordPress. So click on auto installer and select WordPress. Give your website a name. Make sure the administrator email is correct. Choose an administrator username and give it a password. And make sure you follow the guide to make sure your password is compliant. There you go. Next, click on the advanced arrow. And if you want to install your website on a subdirectory, you can enter the name of the subdirectory here, but we're not going to do that. And next, it's asking you to choose a database. There is no database, so the only option is create a new database. Now give your database a password and once again, follow the guide. Now it's super important that you write down your passwords in a safe place. All right, let's scroll down and click on next. Next, we have a few more options here, like the application version, but we can leave it as recommended. And if you don't want to install WordPress in English, you can click on the drop down and select your preferred language. Next, you can choose your update schedule between turning off automatic application updates, update only to minor version, or always update to the latest available version. Now we're going to leave it as recommended update to only minor version. Click on install and enjoy the short flight. Awesome. So we're still in Hostinger and this is the dashboard within Hostinger with specific options like force HTTPS, which is selected by default. Now next you can also have maintenance mode if you don't want other users to see what you're doing while you're building the website. So you can turn it on or off. I'm going to leave it off at the moment. Next, you can install a cache plugin. That will be the topic for another video, but just know that you have a few options with Hostinger that really make developing your website a breeze. All right. Next, I will show you how we can set up WordPress with a theme.